Hi. I, like many people, have let my self-care appearance in general run away from me this quarantine. It's a very rare occasion that I get changed out of my pyjamas. It's even rarer that I wash my face properly or wash my hair properly because I'm not seeing anyone. And also, I'm like low-key depressed so i thought it's time to change that another thing is none of my clothes fit me anymore because through quarantine i've been consistently working out and eating healthily this top used to be rather tight on me so none of my clothes fit anymore so i spent like a hundred pounds in the boohoo sale got some new clothes so we're just we're essentially i suppose doing one of those 24 hour glow up videos so let's get started first thing on the agenda is full body shave and then a fake tan I've only fake tanned twice in my life. Last time I did it, I turned out turquoise. Proof will be somewhere over here. Bright fucking green. I look like Shrek! I have a shower, remove all, all of my hair, all of the unsightly, unladylike hair that is all over my body, this carpet of leg hair. So the time is currently 7.01 p.m. So by 7.01 p.m. tomorrow, I will be certifiably fit. You know that moment after you get out of the shower and you've shaved everywhere? Your legs and your arms are like perfectly smooth and you're still a bit wet so you feel a bit like slimy and you kind of feel like a fish. I feel like the sexy fish from Shark Tale. Like the Angelina Jolie fish. Like that's me. This is gonna fall. Anyway, that was some relatable content for you. So before I start to fake tan so I can put my hair up, I'm gonna put on a hair mask so that I don't get any drippage down my back because that always fucking happens. This one uh, is by Garnier, which I don't usually buy. This is my mum's. I thought I had one by Lush, but I couldn't find it. It was just a PSA. It says on some Garnier products on the front that they're vegan and cruelty free. However, Garnier is not vegan and Garnier is not cruelty free. They only put it on their products because a couple of their products are vegan and um, they're basically, it's essentially just because they know that being vegan and cruelty free is trendy right now and um, they're just trying to get more sales through using it on their products. So don't support them. I don't support them. This is just one that my mum had. So I've actually got quite oily hair but my ends are really dead because my hair is quite long so I'm only going to be sort of like running this through the ends and lengths of my hair. Okay, I think I'm sufficiently saturated. I'm gonna moisturize everywhere and then we can get to tanning. We're gonna be a glowing bronzed goddess. Okay, I just went and got my fake tan and this has happened, so amazing. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just moisturize over my tattoos because the tattoos can get you don't usually notice it that tattoos can get really, really dry. And elbows too. I always forget about this tattoo. And the rest I'm just gonna like pop all over my hands. <sighs> Far as application goes, I have got this mitt from Boohoo, Velour, whatever you call it. And the fun thing that I've just noticed from putting it on is it's got like a sort of waterproof layer. It's like a hard plastic layer here, which will stop it from soaking through and making your hands bright bright orange like georgia nicholson's legs in angus on the perfect smoking so i thought you were different in that georgia i thought you was different georgia i'm so nervous because like this very well could just turn me green so so by this point in my last fake tan adventure i could see the greenness and there is none of that this time which is reassuring all right looks a little bit crazy right now and i have to kind of walk around like this daniel helped me do my back right and i said can you make sure it's not streaky or patchy anywhere else he was like yeah fine so he helped me do my back i put my top on and then i went in my room to stand in front of my fan and in behind my fan is a big mirror and um but well, long story short, my bum looks like a Neapolitan ice cream. Daniel is apparently blind. We'll, we'll deal with that when the moment comes. And Daniel is the only one that gets to look at my bum anyway, for free. It just never go. it never goes 100%. This is now what we're working with. I look very, very patchy. Undeniably really rather dark. When I wash it off, it will not be this dark. I would fucking hope. I was in two minds about when to wash it off because I really want to 
if my vagina out, my vagina definitely just come out. My vagina is out. I was in two minds about when to wash this out because I kind of really want to exercise. But I would need to shower after I exercise because I'll get sweaty. If I have a shower now, then I'll be showering twice. Right, but if I exercise with the fake tan on, will it go streaky or has it been on for long enough? I tell you what, I'm going to go exercise and then I will come shower it off. Tan is washed off. I'm feeling very good, very stunning. Stunning, stunning. Now we're gonna do a face mask. Probably would have been a better idea to do this before fake tan. But I think we've discovered that I'm not the most organized of people, so here we go. I've got my brush because I'm a bougie bitch. I'm not gonna put this all over my face because it can dry you out a little bit, so I'm just gonna put it sort of in my T-zone, I suppose. So we'll be doing a different face mask later. There we go. I'm gonna like brush my teeth, do all of that good stuff. Hopefully by that point this will be dry. You only really need to leave it to dry for like between five and ten minutes. So brush my teeth and then hopefully I can just wash this all off and we can get on with our day. One thing that I found last time that I went to do an essential shop was this little thing for like three pounds. And I was like, I've seen this everywhere. Everybody says it works. I think you're supposed to put it in the fridge. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then in 10 minutes, we're gonna do another face mask and then I'm gonna be like, so young. My mother is a very live, laugh, love kind of type of bitch, you know? You see what I mean? You and I are sisters. Always remember that if you fall, I will pick you up after I finish laughing. <laughs> I'm aging like fine wine. I'm getting complex and fruity. <laughs> Many people have eaten in this kitchen and gone on to lead healthy and happy lives. Okay, now we're going to do a sheet mask. I hardly ever do sheet masks, so I'm very, very excited. So like I said, I've got quite dry skin in patches and quite oily skin in other patches. This is a rich moisture mask by Simple, which is cruelty free. I don't understand. Where are the folds? Oh, wow. <laughs> Christian Bale who? Where you're like supposed to smooth it out like this and it makes it like unnoticeable. You like can't see it at all, it's just invisible, it's disappeared. Oh, this feels like I'm at a spa. This is just like self care to the max. Oh my god. One thing is, I feel like I'm gonna poke my eye out with this metal bit at the side here. So it's got this smaller side. Oh yeah. Big, big fan. 100% recommend. I was going for that Christian Bale thing, but I think he pulls it from the top down. So fuck that. Now I guess I just massage the, the rest in. It says I don't have to rinse it off or anything. Now I look a little bit like an oil slick. But that's the face masks completed. So now all I need to do is get my makeup done, do something with my hair, and then I get to put on a new outfit. Hello, I'm back. It's only been 20 minutes, but I forgot that I said I was going to do my nails. So now I'm here with all my nail stuff and we go, we go make them nice, long, nice and sophisticated. It's probably going to take me at least an hour and a half because let's be real, I'm, I'm not very talented. Here is the before. They're not in terrible condition most of the way, but like this one broke the other day and um, I bit my thumbs off. So I'm just going to make them look all pretty and nice and feminine. Okay. I'll check in when I'm done. I ended up going with this cool toned nude, mid-length, rounded shape with some iridescent butterflies that I just got on eBay and I really, really like it. We back on my bathroom floor. We making it work. Do probably the most significant part of this go up and put my face on. I'm not out here trying to be a beauty guru, so I might just time lapse this. And you can see the whole transformation go down. First of all though, I'm going to get into this bee that I just received two days ago. Uh, listen, I am the revolution. I am the revolution. Now, I did that thing again. If you watch my like day in the life quarantine vlog. I did that thing again where 
I just like ordered loads of stuff in a manic moment and now I can't remember what I got. So this can be fun. A present to me from me. Oh, wow. What packaging. And look, it's all like paper. We stand. This is so cool. I like want to make a light shade out of this. I got the translucent loose setting powder. I got the CC Perfecting Pressed Powder. Oh, what's this? Oh, Tahi. I've wanted this for a while. Wow. Thank you, Carstini. I got the Makeup Obsession Mad About Mauve. Blush. I think it's a blush palette technically, but it's more of a contour palette for somebody of my skin tone. Um, the Liner Revolution, my favourite liner ever. And then I got the Conceal and Hydrate foundation because I love their concealers, but I needed the foundation in a more hydrating one. And then I also got two different shades of the Super Size Concealer. I got one in C C6 and one in C0.5. This is a highlighter shade for me. This is like a sort of contour shade slash I use it to mix when I've got fake tan on. So hopefully I'll be able to make a concoction of foundations that actually suit me suit my skin tone oh this says my name on it i've never had such a bougie parcel okay actually gonna do my makeup now i ended up really liking all of those products if anything i could have gotten them all a little bit darker i think i just underestimated how brown i was gonna be after the fake tan but the powders didn't dry me out or anything and i've never felt makeup like so sort of comfortable on my dry skin um but yeah, other than that, the one thing that I'll say is I think I got a dud eyeliner because this one felt quite dry compared to my other one. Okay, we are now on the home stretch. You can ignore my eyelashes. They were giving me jip. Probably just not going to buy this brand again because every time they fall off. So now I'm going to go and put on, try on all of my new clothes. I think I'm going to film that and make it a whole other video. So I will see you in the outfit that I end up choosing. <laughs> and then we'll be finished. <laughs> okay. So I filmed the video, tried on all the clothes, turns out I'm a clown, thought them all too big. So trying to decide between returning them and asking for another size or returning them and just getting my money back because that was a lot of money that I didn't have to begin with. So this was a fail. But anyway, I don't know if that video will ever see the light of day because it was just so horrendous. This was the most successful of all the outfits that I got. It's still too big, but it's the most cinchy um, and it will probably still go back anyway but I really like the colour. This has been the worst video ever. Nothing went right. My fake tan is shit. My butt looks like a Neapolitan ice cream. None of my clothes fit me. My face is lighter than my body. My hair is greasy and flat. The only thing that went semi well was my nails and even they are a little bit janky so. But I had a good time so. I guess that's really all we're here for and the most important glow up of all thanks for watching though <laughs> bye